Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I just woke up. Um, it's kind of not like Christmas, but it is in many ways. One, it's hot. Two, it's not a Christmas tree. But uh, from a distance, you know, when you have blurry eyes in the morning, it could be a Christmas tree. There's no ornaments on it or anything like that, but it'll be just fine. So this, sorry, I'm going to take you back for a second. This is uh, some wonderful gifts that I received from people. Um, one of them from Singapore. I'm going to show you that. And, and the other ones that came in, in the mail. Um, I'm, not lo I'm no longer ta taking gifts because I received so many of them that uh, my friend Shingo got in trouble. And he said, "Don't send any more gifts." So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to uh, find another way to to do that. So good morning. We're gonna do a pa package unboxing. Um, thank you, Ohio, Ohio gozaimasu. Thank you very much. That's how we say good morning in Japanese. We say Ohio gozaimasu. And uh, you you look dead. I don't look dead. I look like I just woke up. That's what actually literally what happened. Um, by the way, there were two live streams made when I, I uploaded a thumbnail. Um, YouTube's app is always kind of funky, so sorry for those who got kicked off of the other stream. So Now, here we go. Good morning! Um, I, this, this, one on the, this one I'm going to actually save. I'm gonna, let me put the wide-angle lens on the other side. This one I'm going to save actually until, um, until later. So this is the last one I'm going to do. This one... I can't show you the address, but check out all of these stamps. Do you guys see this? This one's from Australia. Did I say it right? Um, and you can see all of these stamps is from Queensland, I guess. QLD is Queensland. And it's pretty cool. It's got all of these um, colored barrels. I don't know what they are exactly. They just look really pretty. Okay, I'm going to unbox this thing. Oh wait, you know what? You know what? I need I need something to cut it open. Hold on a second. This should do. All right. Here we go. Well, and there's a lot of stamps on the front here. I, I can't show you the address anymore. Sorry about that. Vaughn. This one's from Vaughn. Okay, Vaughn Lada. All right, this is from Vaughn. Well, it says, this is kind of weird. All right. This is like made with, with completely made out of tape. Ah! Come on. This is really strong tape. There's more stamps on the, on the front here. I don't know what this is. Of course I don't, I didn't open it yet. I'm not good at opening the packages. Just got it. Ah, it's more tape. It's all tape. Ah. Okay, I found a weak spot in the box. Ah, okay. This traveled really far. This one came all the way from Vaughn. This is from uh, Australia. I'm guessing Queensland. I can't, I don't want to show the address on the, on the camera. Or else Vaughn's going to be getting mail. Oh, Vaughn, this is packed real good. Packed real good. Okay. Okay, okay. It's pretty funny, though. It says, postage paid zero. Because she, Vaughn put all the stamps on it. That's awesome. All right.
This is so much like Christmas. I'm dreaming of a Whoa! It's Cadbury's. This is awesome. Look at all the colors. They're beautiful. We have cherry, cherry ripe. I've never seen that before ever in my entire life. We got cherry ripe with double dipped. Oh, look at this dream with Oreo. I've never seen this before. We don't have this in Japan. This is crazy. Oh, this looks so good. Coconut rough. Some like it rough. I guess that comes with it comes with a little roughage in there that Tokyo Ripe wants to be eaten. We're, we're probably going to do that. Thank you, Vaughn. So far, we're not, but we're not done. There's more. What? 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 Did you just see that? Did you just see for like one second what, was, what I just uncovered? I removed this, and I'm seeing this. And this is absolutely like Tim Tam mania. That's every single color, every single Tim Tam. I don't know if they make, I, I think that's all they make. I've never seen so many Tim Tams in one box and I've seen like crates of them at Don Quixote, but they're all from, usually imported from Indonesia because they're half the price of the ones from the Australian ones. So the Australian ones are really, really high quality compared to the ones that we get at Don Quixote, which is Donkey, which is a superstore in Japan, has lots of stuff. Whoa, let's see here. I, I just like the way that it's, it's set in the box. I don't even want to take it out because I'll, ne I'll never get, get it back in as, as pretty as Vaughn put it in here. So we have here uh, iced coffee, Turkish delight. What? Turkish delight. Um, this is a gelato. This is another gelato. I, it doesn't say which flavors. Oh, I got to turn it this way. Sorry. All right, Vaughn, I'm, I'm kind of moving it here. All right, this is chocolate and mint gelato. This is honey gelato. Gelato is an Italian um, ice cream. There's white. Hey, Vaughn. Sorry I can't s stay long, but enjoy. Thank you, Vaughn. Thank you. White, double coat, dark, original, and chewy caramel. What? These look so good. I've never seen. Look at this. This is chill me. What? Turkish delight. I. This is from Australia. Vaughn, this is awesome. You've made my day. This looks so good. Merry August. <laughs> Happy August. Wow, thank you, Bob. That was awesome. That was I don't I don't know if we can we can top that. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to top that, right? Whoa. Alright, so guys, I just woke up for those who are joining me. This is the un-Christmas boxing uh, because it's August. But it feels like Christmas because I just woke up to presents and I put it under a tree. All right. Now this one, this one's kind of special. This one comes from only in Singapore. Um, it's, uh, Jamie and uh, Chirong have a channel. Oh, it's reversed. Hold on. You, 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 you have a channel called Only in Singapore. And when I went to Singapore, I met them. And uh, they gave me, you can see here. Dear John, we love your channel. Thanks for all the entertainment. And, of course, be Singapore be Singapore. It's a merlion! Do you guys know the merlion? It's the symbol of Singapore. And you can see me in the reflection. I'm inside with the merlion. But uh, I really th thank you for this. I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it in the box. But this is an unboxing, so. The merlion is something that... Um, The merlion is something that Kanai really fell in love with. Um, I guess it's the J Japanese people in Japan love the merlion. When they go to Singapore, the only thing that she said, goes, I want to see the merlion. And I said, well, well, we've got the night zoo. We've got hawker stands. We've got amazing food. We've got, you know, Orchard Road. Merlion, merlion, merlion. So I had to go and we went to the merlion. And then at the meetup later, we got some more merlion love. So... Thank you very much. This is from Only in Singapore. Thank you. We love the Merlion. All right. Now, we've got three remaining. Um, we're going to go with this one. Okay. 
So this package, this package, you can see the stamps. It comes from Germany, Deutschland. Uh, this is from my my best friend and yours, uh, Brita. All right, I'm gonna remove Brita's address really quickly. Okay. I don't want Brita getting people knocking on your door, Brita. Okay, here we go. So I've kind of pre-opened it just for safety safety reasons. Um, I do like the stamps. I'm a stamp lover. Uh, I like to support my local post office in Japan, not so much in the U.S. because they keep on ruining the postcards that I send to other people. All right, here we go. It actually, you know, the customs forms ruin it for me, and I try not to look at the customs declarations. So don't worry, guys. Um, I ignore that. I just curly shredded it, so you don't know. Wow, this one's a lot easier. I think the the outer skin was easy to destroy. Look, it's DHL. DHL is uh, the German. Taku bean, and they have these really awesome boxes. We don't get these awesome DHL boxes in Japan, but we do have DHL here. All right, here we go. DHL, baby. Urgh. Santa uses DHL. How do you open this? Oh, that's, that, that's easier like this. Yeah. Unboxings are so much fun. It's like, what's inside, you know? It could be anything in here. No, Brid, Brid and, he and Heiko sent Peter uh, uh, <laughs> This is challenging my intellect. In the morning, that's not a good thing to do. Pre-coffee. Never, never... For most adults, do not get them pre-coffee in the morning and, and expect good results. All right. So Brady and Hathel, Hathel gave, gave uh, Peter a, a, a really nice box for a birthday present with a bottle of alcohol that leaned to the side. Um, I don't know if that's in here, but I thought that was pretty cool. All right, from Brady and Hathel. Let's go. I don't know if I can read the letter aloud to you. There might be some private stuff in here. Um, there are two packages on the way. One is for Peter. Okay, we gave that to Peter. Um, um, in your package, you will find in your package you will find cookies from our region. A well-known bakery chain from our region produces these cookies. Awesome. Be careful with the coffee. More coffee. It should be very strong. Whoa. And the fruit tea is for Kanai. All the other stuff, of course. And all the other stuff. Okay, and <laughs> I get a lot of stuff. Actually, we worked to pack you a, a glass of Nutella, but unfortunately, it was too heavy. Yeah, I understand. Um, it's a similar product. Oh, okay, well, let's see what it is. And, and Brita, go. I love you guys. This is awesome. This is really awesome. Okay, here we go. And look, this is so cool. The newspaper is from, in German. Can anyone read that? Is this... Is this are these headline news? What's going on with the chancellor? All right. mm, can't read it. All right. Even the newspaper is like a present. Oh, check this out. Oh, these look so good. These are cookies. And they're... I can't read that. Anyone knows? It says it's good. And it's good for snacking. And good for backing. I like that. Good snack and good back end. And they smell pretty good. Look, this one also butter. And look, I think the like the customs dude must have opened it because it was open on the top. They wanted one, but they couldn't get one. Hey, Tree Riders is just super chat awesome. Thank you. All right, I've never had these before, so we're gonna we're gonna get a chance to try that. Oh, Kanai's gonna love this. Check it out. This tea looks so good. This is tea. This is uh, Rote Gutze, and uh, it smells really good. Oh, 
Fisherman's friend, I could use that right now. It's a good thing you're standing on the other side of this because I haven't brushed my teeth yet. I said, fisherman friends are full because fishermen never brush their teeth. It's very dis disgusting. Uh, did I turn the camera around? Uh, very disgusting. All right. And, uh, oh, whoa. This does look strong. This is heavy. This is half a kilo. That's why you couldn't send the Nutella because the coffee weighs the br is a brick. Literally, it's a brick, really. You guys sent me a brick. This is cool. Um, I'm going to try this. I don't know if I can live stream it, but I'm going to try this uh, this morning. Um, I could use a strong cup, and that's a, that's a strong cup. I don't think it's any stronger than this. All right. Wow. Uh... I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it. Okay, sorry for shouting in your ear there. Oh, this looks good. This is new. Yes! I wanted... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is like Nutella, but it's not... It might be better. Um, I know Nutella was having some problems because they said that the palm oil they used caused <clears throat> cancer. But um, this is... Looks better. I like it. Nuspli. Nuspli? Is that... Am I saying right? Nuspli? Energy. Yeah, this is better. All right, I'm gonna have some nusplee and some uh, bread. But there's one more. Breton Hagel Rock. Check this out. All right, I, I think I know what this is because you might have put one in there with for Peter, right? I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. If your kid watching gotta be 20 years old to drink it in Japan. Oh, look at this. This is booze. This is, let's see here. This is from, I know it's from the region and they make some pretty unique stuff. But I remember when, P when Peter and I put this down on the table, it was, it was pretty unique, check it out. Cause it leans like a drunken sailor <laughs> or like a boat in the uh, sea. So this booze, the bottle is, is made at an angle and it leans and I think that's so cool. Check it out. All right, we're gonna drink this. We're, I'm gonna drink this with uh, Jennifer or Peter. We're gonna drink our our uh, uh, Segler Schluck uh, together sometime. So I'm gonna say this because this is probably not the best thing for the morning, but it's clear. The bottle's pretty awesome. I like that. Thank you. This is from uh, their region in the north in Germany, and uh, I love the rock candy that they gave me uh, that Britton Hagel gave me last time. So thank you guys. That was awesome. Yes, I can't believe it, it's like Christmas! And just to rewind, I got a whole box of, of Tim Tams. This is way too awesome. Wow, all right. So now, hey, can I move their pictures over here? Okay, she moved the wedding pictures over there. Didn't know that. I guess she, go, she went to work two hours ago. I remember, I remember groggily, um, she woke me up. She said, John, I'm going to work. And I go, oh, have a nice day. And then she gave me a kiss and then left. And that's all I remember. And then I fell back to sleep. I just vaguely remember it. It's very groggy. She left very early in the morning. All right, here we go. Now this comes from somebody. This box that I'm beating up comes from somebody that we all know. Um, her name is, is, hey, back. No, her name, I'm just going to do it like this. Her name is Gretchen. Gretchen is in Arizona. Um, Gretchen lives in the heat. She's a creature of hot weather. Although I think she's in air conditioning most of the time. I'm not really sure. I hope so. It's really hot. And um, she, our community, we have a, com a very nice community on Patreon. And a Patreon, and I know I'm, I just woke up, I'm sorry. Uh, the, in Patreon, uh, I gave the address for Gretchen's um, house. Uh, on Patreon, and I asked uh, patrons because people were sending me all these boxes, and uh, I got in trouble sending boxes. So uh, my friend Shingo said I can't send any more boxes to his office anymore. I just we got too many boxes. Um, even though um, I, I actually, I think it was Samantha who sent Shingo a box. So maybe he's gonna get in trouble for getting his own box, but that's okay. I think he's he's a really happy guy. So Gretchen sent me this package out of appreciation for all the th stuff that the community did. So really what is inside of here is, 
is for me, but it's for, it's for the community, okay? Because um, I believe two otaku sent, yeah, yeah, two otaku sent uh, um, uh, Okapi to Gretchen, in, and uh, Gretchen also got postcards, Gretchen got um, like painting uh, pictures and frames and lots of stuff from people. I think there was uh, like six or seven people that sent her gifts from Patreon. And now um, what what Gretchen can't can't get around too good, although I think she got hit by a car. Gretchen's had, some, had a pretty tough month. There's a lot of ups and downs. I'm oh, sorry, bumped the camera. A lot of ups and downs. Now this box, this box came to me half open, all right? The box came half open like this. It was weird. Um, but this is Japan and no one's gonna, no one's gonna uh, steal it, okay? But, but because it was half open, I might, you know, I might have looked in there. Yeah, I know, John Pine writes in, what? She got hit by a car? Yeah, it's weird. Um, but she had, she was, had her safety belt on or something. All right, I can't, I can't read this. Let me, I want to hide her address here. Okay. So this is a certificate. So build a bear. So I think Gretchen has built the bear. How did she build a bear? And um, there's a birth certificate here. Am I supposed to fill that out? I guess like if you build the bear, the mother will fill it out when they read the box. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, build a bear. And it says here, um, build a bear. Okay, I'm not sure. That's, it. That's all it says. And inside is, is a bear. <laughs> it's like, this bear is not even put in, it's not even wrapped, Gretchen. It should be in, it should be in like at least plastic, but they did build it. And the bear's naked. Hey there, little guy. It's really soft. It's really soft. The stitching is pretty good. Yeah. All right. There he is, build a bear. You get the the label on them. All all teddy bears have to come with labels. It's the government government says it does. These are government issued. All right, let's see here. Build a bear workshop. Very good. So Gretchen built this bear. And on the hand it says, "Build a bear." And uh, yeah. Oh wait. It came with pants. It came with pants? Well, it's not for me. Get this down here. These pants are a little bit too small to fit me. So I'm guessing Gretchen wants me to put this on, put, put this on you. And it's funny, because we're wearing the same colored pants. Let's see here. All right. Here we go. No, it's not going to be demonetized for a naked bear. The bear's got fur. It's actually not completely naked. All right, here we go, little guy. Okay. Ooh, I can see your bum. All right. Oh, look, but his tail gets covered, right? There you go. He's bare chested. Looks like Peter, but with hair. There he is sitting against the Christmas tree. Hey there, little guy. What should we call you? Do you have a name? You're not Okapi. What's your name? We gotta give him a name. If you guys have an idea for a name, let me know. We're gonna give him a name. Unless Gretchen's watching, then Gretchen can chime in and give give me the name. I'm not sure what the bear in Japan. <laughs> that's really that's that could be it. Bear in Japan. If you can see clearly, we're wearing the same shorts. But I'm not I'm not taking my shirt off. It's morning. Uh, my body's not awake. So thank you, Gretchen. Thank you, everybody out there on the internet. I've done my best to make it really. So as you get be offended, so don't be offended in my bare chest. All right, thank you, bear. It's enough from you. I could keep going, but I would annoy 500 people that are watching. Um, if you like unboxings, 
uh, click the like button. Um, I encourage you to, to click the like button because the YouTube people told me that if people like the video, then um, they, they, they do stuff with it. So thank you. So you can click the like button. Um, yeah, and I like this stuff, so there's a lot to click. I'm going to click this and click it, this, this, this. I'm clicking everything. There's nothing I did not, not like. So, without further ado, look, it does look kind of weird to have Merlion. Okapi's, Okapi's there with the, with the um, Canadian Ranger. Now, we're getting quite a stuffed animal uh, collection here at Only in Japan. So much, so much so that I, I don't know, I don't know how much more, oh yeah, hold on a second, I don't know how much more space I have. So Kanai said we're going to have to like start a corner in the apartment where we just put only in Japan like uh, gifts and things like this because I have it all spread around the house, right? Um, and that's, uh, that's kind of annoying her because it's just random. I guess she, she you know, when you, when you get married, you find out that your wife has like a scheme of of the way the apartment should go and you have to go along with the scheme you can't like uh, not have the wrong colors and you has to be everything in order um, she runs a pretty tight ship so I'm gonna have to start a corner I guess basically I need some coffee and that's it. that's just true wait Gretchen okay wait Gretchen says Gretchen writes in its name is John Pobbs what? What? Oh, that's cute. John Pobbs. Because my name is Dob and this, this bear is Pobbs. Pob. So, we're both John. Meet John Pob. Thank you, Gretchen. I love it! Ha! He's got a very high voice in the morning. There's one more box. I thought I was done! And did, if you, did you think we were done? We're gonna make this stream 30 minutes now. Uh, press the paw. What? <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't press the like button. Paw the like button, please. Paw it. All right, thank you for that. Okay. I okay, gotta take this address off. I don't know what you can see the ad. This comes from Mark. Mark's from Australia. And um, this is from Victoria which is where Melbourne is, and uh, there's a declaration uh, for the customs, but I'm not going to tell you what's inside. That's That would defy the purpose of opening. This is the biggest problem with the, with the international pack, package unboxings. It's that uh, um, they, they ruin the gift be, because of customs. Nobody likes customs, you know? <laughs> customs is a uh, pain in the neck. All right, so... Where did my scissors go? Scissors! If you yell at it, it will magically appear. It's underneath all this stuff, I think. Wow, Kanai's not gonna be happy with this mess. Here we go. There's a black shirt, too. Gretchen, there's no black shirt? Hold on, I'm getting a message from Gretchen. Gretchen, there's no black shirt. The box was the box was half open. In fact, the tape was so bad. Look, that, that's the bottom of the box. I'm lucky I got this. There's no black shirt, unfortunately. If it did, it would look like me. We need to find the black shirt. There's no black shirt. I guess it fell out. They didn't do a good job of packing the box. Um, yeah, someone, I don't think someone stole it. I think it just fell out. They didn't, they didn't do a good job of packing. The, the, this is the bottom. This is the package job. You can take a screenshot and send it to them. I didn't, I didn't open this. This is the way that the box came to me. It's not, yeah, so the black shirt fell out. I'm gonna see if I can find a black shirt though, like a like a super small one for toddlers maybe. <laughs> and then we'll we'll do our best, Gretchen. I'm sorry about that. I, I I just don't I don't see a black shirt. 
Um, okay, let's package this from Marcus. Cool. This looks heavy. This looks heavy. And and John Pobbs is here to help out with the uh, um, getting in the way. That's, that's what he does. The shirtless one. Does it smell okay? It smells okay. It smells okay. He's smelling it. Smelling it. Wait until he's finished the smell process. He's giving the all, the all clear. Okay. I'm seeing the message Yorkshire tier, tier, but I can't, um, I can't do everything in, in, in it. I can't, I can't see the messages all the time. Let's see here. I'm going back. Squeeze the paw on your bear. I'm squeezing the paw. I'm squeezing it. Nothing's happening. Okay. How much do I squeeze it? Mm, okay. Sorry, sorry, John Pobbs, I might have squeezed you too much. The internet told me to do it. <laughs> the internet told me to do it. All right, here we go. Um, a letter? I'm gonna see if it's private first. Wait, wait! That's not another cherry rat. Whoa! This is stuff that Vaughn also got me. This is so cool. I get a feeling I'm going to be liking these cherry rides. All right. It's a very nice letter. All right. This is from Mark. Mark, I'm sorry if I'm reading this publicly. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. I came across your videos earlier in the year when researching for our first trip to Japan in April. Find them informative and entertaining. I uh, think I have seen most of your archives. Wow. There's a lot of archives. My present to you is based on the fact that you seem to like food. Yes. And a Google search of what Australian expats in Japan say they missed the most. Wow. Uh, <laughs> they missed a lot. But your exuber exuberant cherry blossoms have come early to Tokyo. Update uh, did upset me as the news did ruin my holiday planning. Sorry. Yeah, the, the cherry blossoms were early this year. But when you were right in what we did see them in Takayama instead. Yeah, you, had, you have to go out to the mountains to see the cherry blossoms a little bit if they bloom early. Uh, instead, when we were not expecting it. Cherry blossoms are blooming at all times. Uh, so if they do er, start early in Tokyo, then you can definitely still see them up, up north in Tohoku or up in the mountains like Takayama. Uh, it's, great, it's great fun to see you at, at a place we've been to. Plan to go back next year for another sh uh, shot at cherry blossoms and then see the autumn colors. Thanks, Mark. Um, yeah. I'm I'm glad that the videos I'm I'm glad that the videos are really helpful. Um, that's why that's why a video creator makes the the videos to be used. And uh, if if you can use them, especially the live streams are really good because I can do it immediately and I can give you information like this. This year the cherry blossoms are early, and no one else is going to do that because to edit the video it takes a couple of days usually before they upload it. I'm like out there immediately. This is live. So I'm glad that that was really useful for you. And, I'm, and it's, it's very encouraging to hear that. So thank you, um, Mark. Yeah. So Mark um, has given me what a lot of expats in Australia miss. And it's kind of a lot. We, let's, let's, see what, let's see what that is. Whoa. I'm seeing something right off the bat. And these look good. I've never seen this before in my life. This is um, Arnott's, which makes Tim Tams. This is not Tim Tams, but it looks pretty amazing. These are iced Volvos, and they look lovely. Look at the pink on it. Wow. All right, I'm going to try these soon. Tiny Teddies! It's a grumpy bear! Peter would like this. If you see Peter's last video, he had a grumpy cat. Barney, his grumpy cat was on the front, and this is a grumpy bear. So, actually, uh, Gretchen, we've got your bear's first snack. They're both bear-chested. Look at this. What do you think, bear? They're both bear-chested. But this is a happy bear. John Pobbs is very happy. He's got some snacks now. Oh, look, there's more! This one's got, this one's got, um, um, what do you call that? The Red Spots Chicken Pox. This one's got, and he's painting on his own chicken pox. 
That's weird. Why would you do that? A oh, chocolate chip. Oh, chocolate chips. That's why. Oh, they're not chicken pox. That's better. And uh, chocolate. Whoa. Look at all these combinations. On some of the chocolate chip, I can give that one to Kanai. Whoa! This is like... This is like something I can use. <laughs> Again. But it also keeps in... Whoa, I got chocolates wafting in some chocolate here. Oh, look at this. Caramello Koala. I've never seen that. Have you guys seen this before? This is awesome. This is from Australia. Caramel koalas, and then cherry ripe. I'm gonna have to try one of these right now. All right, I gotta try one of these right now. All right, we're gonna we're gonna pause the unboxing and just try one of these right now because because Vaughn sent a, sent sent this and then I got like a couple in here. This is called cherry ripe. Whoa. Internet, you seeing this? That's really good. It's cherry coconut. It's coconut with cherry in it. I've never had anything like that before. These are really good. Thank you. Wow, thank you, Mark. Look at this. It's shaped like a koala. Do you guys want to see one? All right, I'm going to open it up, but I'm not going to eat it, okay? Just I want to show you guys. I, I will eat it later. I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to have a really big chocolate high today. Ah! <laughs> Check this out! It's a koala! It made it chocolate! Very cool. I'm going to put it back. You'll get eaten later. John... John, will you hold this for me? That kind of looks like him, too. Kind of look the same. The koala looks like a bear, really, just with a bigger nose. Actually, the nose looks the same, too. Whoa! I thought Anzac went, meant, like, Australia, New Zealand or something. This looks really good. Australian's authentic recipe. I want to open this up now. Ah, Gretchen, thanks for the update. We, we shouldn't squeeze the paw. It'll hurt. It'll hurt John Pobbs. Squeeze it nicely. Oh, wow. It's true. Made in Australia. Awesome. I'm going to have this with my coffee. Everybody loves... Oh! What? What? And we complete it with an amazingly huge bag of macadamia nuts. This is amazing. Kanai loves macadamia nuts too, so we're going to be snacking on these for like ever. There's a lot in there. You know what we have in Japan? In Japan, we, we get macadamia nuts. There's like a little bag of them. They're like this big, and there's like three, there's three macadamia nuts inside. Like three. I remember, yeah. Yeah, I remember I got a bag with only three macadamia nuts in there. And I go, where are the nuts? He said, why did I just pay? It was a dollar. And there's like a there's like hundred thousand in here. I can't count. It's like, you know, can you guys guess how many are in here? What do you think? A hundred? Two hundred? Five hundred? I don't know. I can tell you there's 400 grams. And if each one weighs two grams, that's like 200 Two hundred, maybe? One million writes in Diana. Only in Antarctica writes in, that's nuts. Could be. My Life Japan writes in 307, and Marco says 250. Um, I don't know, it could be 307. I'm guessing like 200, between 200 and 300, just based on the grammage. One macadamia nut, it's got to be more than one gram, right? They're, these are pretty heavy, and they're salted. All right, thank you. There you go, John. My namesake. That's really nice. I like this. Gretchen got me the bear. So we got we got another addition to Oka P and our Canadian Mountie. 
So thanks everybody. I'm putting these all together. We've got food from all over. We got food from Germany and Australia and Australia and we got Singapore merlion and then we got America represented here with the with a, a bear. And I really need these re like right away. So thank you everybody. So if I can set this up here, this is what the hall looks like. It's really cool. Down, boy. There you go. There you go. There's an epic haul, including coffee, Tim Tams, cookies, butter cookies, chocolate ripe, koala chocolate, and teddy bears, and cookies from Germany, and macadamia nuts, and John Pobbs. All right, you're going to have to give that back to me. We're going to have to find you a shirt, man. You are okay in the summer, but when it comes to winter, it's going to be really, really cold. So we're going to have to get your shirt, okay? All right. Very good. We're going to give him a good home. All right. Thanks, everybody. Um, if, I will now take questions for the next 30 seconds. Well, I'm groggy and not understanding the, res the ramifications of, of having a morning face and live streaming. Um, any questions? Florence, you said thank you. He he took your nuts. Get them all. Just come on, man. How much of your haul belongs to Joji? Um, I gave actually I gave Peter his haul uh, yesterday, but I can I can give Joji some if you want. It's more than it's, I I know Kanai is going to be snacking on these. I'll tell you that. I thought you were on your way to an island. Uh, I'm not leaving until the first September first. Um, Diane is dying to know your birthday. Please disclose. I don't know. Uh, it's in February. It's on the internet. It's very easy to find. Um, this famous birthdays.com site asked me what my birthday was, so they have it. Um, is that an Ikea carpet? Yes, of course it is. I like Ikea. Uh, let's see here. Only in Singapore is not a channel, John. It's just a joke. Oh, okay. But thanks for the imaginary shout out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so the only in Singapore is not an actual channel, everybody. Although, although, it, if it was, that would be pretty cool. Imaginary shout out to the only in Japan, only in Singapore group. <laughs> uh, is the shirt in the bag? No. It, I thought it was. Um, I was. I was looking for the shirt. The bag. I'm, I'm the... The box for for John Pobbs uh, was was open, um, and I'm guessing it it's it fell out. The box it was off was packed, awful. It's which is of no fault of, of of Gretchen's. It was it came like this. Look, the tape didn't tape. It was all it was like smashed, and the tape didn't didn't tape. So when it got sent here, the box was the box was up like this, and so the shirt kit had fallen out. And they didn't put they didn't put John Pops in a bag and then put it in the box. They just put him in the box. So yeah, I was kind of worried about that. So his shirt must be in a mail truck somewhere. That's what I'm guessing. Oh, I'm sorry, John. We're gonna but don't worry, guys. We're gonna find a shirt for him. Um. In in Japan, little babies are pretty small, so we can find a baby a baby shirt for for John Pobbs. I'm pretty sure we'll, he's gonna do okay. Yeah, it didn't melt. <laughs> it didn't melt. Um, there's no hat. That would be pretty cool. Although I got a hat that um, I'm returning. Maybe I'll just keep it. It's it's too small for me. It's weird. Uh, but um, we will find clothing for John Pobbs because. You can't just walk around the house like that. Kanai is gonna have a fit, okay? So we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him something. Find a shirt with a Japanese design, maybe. But I think I think Gretchen was 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 got the same color sh shorts and the same color shirt. So I think Gretchen was trying to get a black T-shirt to make it look like it was me in bear form. So we want to honor. Gretchen's creativity, <laughs> which is my creativity, to have a black shirt, and we're gonna do that uh, in a as soon as I can I can find a small T-shirt. Uh, hey Faye, how are you? Uh, poor baby bear. Hi John. Hey Faye. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna find that monster drink shirt. Actually, John Pine, if if I can find a black baby T-shirt with monster on it, first of all, a question: Why would they were at? Why they're advertising monster on a baby shirt? Um, maybe that should be for adults. And then second, I probably would buy it because it would be pretty funny, and I I would support support it. Uh, Max Power writes in: Have you met Danny? Yes, I know Danny. Uh, Danny knows me. We've done. Uh, I did do a video for another channel um, with him about five years ago. I haven't seen him in about five years though. Uh, yeah, I met him several times. A very nice guy. Very nice guy, uh, Danny. He makes um, uh, smart dolls now. Makes smart dolls. Yeah. Yeah. Danny was the ultimate. Um, what, can, what can I say about Danny? He 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 was the biggest thing that everybody I think remembers was that he went on when the iPhone launched. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Danny uh, Danny Chu. When the iPhone launched. Uh, back in like 2007, I think it was 2007 in Japan. Um, iPhone, the first generation, never came to Japan. Um, SoftBank was the was the phone carrier that picked it up, like AT and T for these the iPhone for the first version, and SoftBank picked it up. And at the press conference, Danny dressed in a stormtrooper confused everybody and got on stage with uh, Masayoshi Son, the CEO of SoftBank, and Danny. Um, who is actually somebody pretty am amazing here in Japan, was on stage with Masayoshi Son, and, and the president of SoftBank had no idea that he wasn't supposed to be on the stage. And so there he is with a stormtrooper on stage, and that was a pretty viral moment. Um, that video is kind of cool. So if you go back and search stormtrooper, SoftBank, um, iPhone, Masayoshi Son, you'll get Danny's, Danny's uh, pretty funny video of a press conference where there's, he's dancing with Danny inside of a stormtrooper. Great for yourself, for everybody who likes uh, um, Star Wars. Uh, Google Smart Doll, there's a site to buy them. Yeah, I think Danny has his own soft doll. Um, he has his own brand, and he's very good. He's a very smart businessman. Let's see here. Peter Barracan, or the one retired um, captain. I have not met Peter Barracan. Uh, he does not hang out with me because he's a big star. Uh, I'm starting to tour in Kyoto, ending in Tokyo. Very good. Very good. It's a good tour. Um, there's a lot of places in between Tokyo and Kyoto, so uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun. They are getting quite popular. Take Pob Spare on your trip. Um, I might not do that because he might not come back. There's big birds and vicious animals and a lot of ocean. It's better. It's very better. Um... Any chance you could do a meetup in Antarctica? <laughs> Are you really in Antarctica? I could, yeah. That's the one continent I haven't been to yet, Antarctica. Uh, I've been in Argentina and Chile, and that was sort of like a jumping off point to get there, but I've never been to Antarctica. Uh, would be fun, would be fun. John, I'm watching uh, Mogadishu, Somalia. You have viewers everywhere. What? Very, no, what? We got we got viewers from Mogadishu. That's so cool. That's so cool. So we're, yeah, we're we're streaming everywhere right now. I think we have all the continents. We've got Antarctica, Africa, North America. If you want to, in the last minute, hey Gretchen, need to find a camera for the bear. Yes, we gotta find a, a mini camera. I might be able to give him one of my my older cameras if if John Pops doesn't mind being a little bit outdated. The sensor's smaller in those. It's a smaller lens too. Yeah, write in where you're from if you want to, if you, the last minute, um, it's always fun to look back at the live stream to see where everyone's uh, watching from, the Philippines, in their Canada. Yeah, see here, and, and Christine writes, John, just wanted to say that live feed you, you did about being a YouTube creator a few days ago while out in the heat was really helpful. Thank you. Um, I'm glad that was helpful. I think some of the tips are things that I've learned along the way and some of the biggest, um, um, steps that new creators mistake is that they copy other pe other creators and they miss the point of why they're creating and they they can't understand why the channel um, doesn't break out it's uh, there's a lot of tips in there I think that that might be helpful that I learned from other creators Singapore Australia Belgium is here Belgium I just had a Belgian beer the other night um great famous for beer New Jersey which exit on the turnpike uh, Philippines uh, Phil, uh, Phil PA, USA, Pennsylvania. Uh, Britta, I know where Britta's got from. 
Wilhelmshaven. Grosch Beer City. Wow. We're going deep now. This is deep Europe. Florida. Singapore. LAX. LAX. Wow. Uh, Ohio. Where are you going? Atlanta. Um, the largest Japanese city outside Japan is Sao Paulo in Brazil. That's right. That's true. Yorkshire tea. Yes, Sao Paulo. Brazil has the biggest uh, population of Japanese expats. Because during World War II, a lot of Japanese um, moved to Brazil and they just stayed there. And that's why a lot of Brazilians moved to Japan as well. So there's a, a, a very big cultural um, exchange between Brazil and the Japan. So this, this, they are quite connected culturally in, in some ways, which is pretty cool. Uh, Hong Kong, Dallas, and, and Philippines, thank you. Wow, Atlanta. San Francisco. Gosh, I, thank you guys for, for writing in. This is so cool to see where everybody's from. Yeah, before World, oh, before World War II. Thank you for that information. Before World War II. Wow, turn, John, you know the New Jersey Turnpike? Um, yeah, because I lived in New Jersey, so. <laughs> I guess the closest exit that I was on was an uh, exit on 7A. So we'd take 7A, and you'd go past um, um, uh, Great Adventure to, to get uh, my, uh, I, to get to my house, you'd still have to drive quite a ways, but we would go past a great adventure. All right, everybody. So that's it from John Pobbs and and uh, the unboxing. We've gone in way longer than we should have. The wide angle lens is covering it. I, I do love this wide angle lens. You can see it does make a difference. Um, this is the Olo clip. It's pretty good for live streaming. It clips on pretty good on the iPhone Seven. Yeah, and you get a nice wide view, and uh, that's better for everybody, including me, because I don't like it when my face is right up there, especially when you first wake up. Uh, I, I do appreciate all of the feedback. Leave a comment. Um, if you have any, any comments about the products I just opened uh, or anything that you want to see in the future, I'm going to be abroad, like, outside of Tokyo, if that makes any sense. I'm taking a boat. That, that's not abroad. Taking a boat for 25 hours on, on the September 1st, and that's in two days' time. And I gotta get ready for that. But I also have an episode. Um, I have an episode. I can kind of. I guess I can show you this. This is. Um, I had to shoot this the other day. Up, 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 up. Thank you. So I had to shoot this the other day, but it melted because it it, it melts in the heat. This is uh, Amizaiku. This is a rabbit. This is candy made from uh, um, a traditional shop, and I, I filmed it. Uh, uh, two nights ago, and I'm, I'm, I'm just finishing the edit, so that's this, this video should be up tonight, and it's a video about traditional Japanese candy, and the shop that I made, and uh, it should be pretty fun and interesting for everybody. Um, a lot of the videos have just shown, shown them making it, none of them have really explained some of the history behind it, and it's going to be, and, and why they do it, and, and some of the problems that's, that's uh, like, there's not enough, enough people doing it these days, so I wanted to protect it. Um, at least show you, give you some insight in it and say it's kind of endangered. So, uh, Amizaiku is the episode that I'm doing. And, uh, I, I, I asked the Amizaiku master, I commissioned him with money from Patreon. And Patreon got the first picture, sort of, of what it might look like. Uh, I commissioned a $100 version of me in candy. So that's why this episode is going to be pretty funny. Um... And he made, I guess it was his his his, uh, his uh, kohai. He's sen he's the senpai, the master. So his kohai, the person working underneath him, who's learning from him, made me in candy. And it, you have to watch this to see if that person, if if the candy looks like me. It's a bust made out of candy. It's gonna be pretty cool to to, to see it. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool, Diana. So uh, thank you everybody for watching, and um, I hope you have a great day or great night wherever you are from. Thank you to Mark, thank you to Britta and Heiko, thank you to um, Vaughn, thank you to Only in Singapore, which is on an actual channel, and to Gretchen for making John Pobbs a new hashtag, I guess. <laughs> I appreciate it, Gretchen. I appreciate it, guys. So last 20 seconds, you get to see John Pobbs and his amazing haul of Australian and German goodies. Oh, Merlion, can't breathe. Sorry, buddy. All right, everybody, have a good day. Good night. Don't forget to subscribe. I didn't say that. John Pobb said that. Subscribe!